welcome to Marxism Impromptu Rap. Tonight, I am going to compose some cool ass rap about monarchy. Yes. It will be delightful for everyone who's listening out there. Indeed, indeed, indeed. We shall enjoy it. <laughs> uh, too bad other folks aren't here to join me again. But I must do it alone. It's... Alas. I nonetheless shall press on. Shall we start? Should we? Should we? Should we? Yo, 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 yo. In the house. Monarchy in the White House. In the White House. Monarchy in the White House. In the White House. Yo, 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 yo. This nation has been democracy for too long. Too long, too long, too long. We're not strong. We're not strong. Yo, yo, yo. Democracy is not strong. I joined the Monarchy Party back in 74. It was a good score to join the party. You get everything that you ever wanted and get to be a part of the best ideology around. Yo, 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 my homies in the Monarchy Party. Yo, 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 they're my friends, my pals. Yo, 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 I dig them. I'm down with them. My crew, because we're going to take the White House and put a good monarchy in. No more democracy, no more presidents. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, 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 yo. This is going to be number one on MTV. We're going to use the airwaves, 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 to... You a nation of monarchism. Yo, yo, in, monarch, in the house, in the house, monarchism. What's up? Monarchism in the house, in the house. Yo, yo, yo. Ever since I was four years old, I was saying, this government is kind of old. Oh, yeah. I was saying, we need a new crew to govern the affairs of our nation. We need a new crew to usher in a whole generation of loyal monarchs. We need a new crew. Yes, we do. We need a new crew. We do, we do, we do. We need a new crew. A crown on the head and purple robes for all. We need a royal red carpet to walk upon. We need it now. There's no time to waste. We need it now. You can never have enough monarchy. Never have enough monarchy. Check it out, G. Have you ever seen a better government than those that are absolute monarchies? Never, never, ever. Never, ever, ever. There's nothing better than monarchy. Never. Ever, 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 never, ever, 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 ever. Every rapper from coast to coast, east coast, west coast, north coast and south coast, we all digging the monarchy. We all digging the monarchy. Yo, yo, yo. I was walking down the street when I was four years old. I got a little pamphlet and I was sold. Oh, yeah, I was sold. Then I went away and away. I joined the Monarchs party. It was a party. We had a little bash. Not an alcoholic. It was bad. It was great. It was bad. It was bad, bad, bad. And when I say bad, I mean like cool. It's kind of like a slang word that some non-slang people don't know about. Oh yeah. Then I went. I ran for the president. I got all the votes of the Electoral College. And it was presumed across the land I was to be the next monarch. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. 
America needs monarchy, we'll never be free until we have monarchy. Yo, yo, yo. In the house. Monarchy in the White House. The Monarch Meister. I was in my little tiny room reflecting upon the state of the nation. And then I said, <laughs> What's wrong with our nation is our government. Our government should be out and went, but no, 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 it's still here today. This government says we should have all, everyone vote and have a total, a total democracy. But I say no, I say no, I say the best way to go is to have a monarch in the White House and have them absolute power over the people. It would make things all the easier. We gotta have revolts, gotta have revolutions, gotta have protest demonstrations too. Until we see the day that a monarch is the king of the nation, and the queen, and the queen, and the emperor, and the kaiser, we will not stop until every nation of this entire world is an absolute monarchy. That's the way that we shall be. We shall be, 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 be. Yo, G, it's the way we shall be. We won't quit until we have the monarch's flag in every country. And we will sing monarch anthem. We'll teach our kids the loyal lessons of monarchy. That's the only way to be, I say to you tonight, today, and tomorrow. We got a romance the monarch crown because he'll never ever frown when a monarch's a king of the world the queen of the world everything is all good all good in a monarch hood oh yeah oh yeah don't you be dissing the crown ever because I will retaliate and I will get up on a podium and I will say hey 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 you are wrong Oh yeah, in your face. You'll be the fool when the monarch government rule in every nation across the world. And then we will colonize planets and even those in our solar system. Oh yeah, it will be great. It will be fine. It will be wonderful. It will be dandy. I'm here to sing this song because I know democracies are wrong. And the lessons of monarchy teach us that we need an absolute authority. We need more hierarchy. We need more concentrated rule. We need people, just one person, in control of everyone's affairs. That's the way to be. We need to have hereditary ascension to the throne because that's the only way we've ever known. Word. I don't support constitutional monarchies. That's kind of wimpy, according to me. I would rather we have absolute monarchy. None of this figurehead bullshit. None of this figurehead crap. What we need is a monarchy government. What we need is a monarchy government. We want a government in the U.S. of A. where we have a monarch. Some people say, that's not the way America should be, but I say, please, you're talking shit. What's up with that? Monarchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hooray for the monarchy, but raise the flag. We'll be flying every city, country, and school. Yes, in the school. you no longer pledge allegiance to the Star Spangled Banner. No way, not you. You will now pledge allegiance to the flag of monarchy. And you'll be happy as can be. You'll be happy camper. And you'll never hamper. Because monarchy is the best government. The best, best government. The best government. Yo, yo, yo. Word. I'm talking about monarchy because monarchy is perfect for me and for you and for your mother, sister, brother, too. Monarchy is 
divine and fine. It is wonderful and fantastic. It is great and tremendous. It is horrific. Oh, no, 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 not horrific. I screwed up because it's impromptu, but that's okay. I was saying that it is colossally cool, and it is rad, and it is groovy, and it is, you know, happening. It is hip and with it, and all that good stuff because monarchy, the system to be, the system to be. When you have a monarchy, everyone is free. Oh, yeah? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Who should be our king or queen? Well, we should say that should be hereditary. But first we must establish a throne. And hey, 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 sure the hell can be me. It will be me. It will be me. Because I am leading the crusade for monarchy. I am leading the crusade for this. This crusade for this. I want to be the king of the entire world. That would be mighty fine to me. It would make me happy. Make me glad. It would make me ecstatic. It'd make me very, very exuberant and vital and powerful and, and enthusiastic because monarchy is a system for me, especially with me on the top, on the top, on the top, on the top. I am the wisest, I'm the smartest, I'm the humblest motherfucker in town. So you best not mess with the humblest motherfucker in town. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. I am the biggest advocate of my anarchy. We went to the palace, the great, great palace. It was grander than Mickey D's. It had great vegan food. And we said, this is the way it should all be. We must have a great division between the upper echelon and the lower class. It should be as as, as can be. Concentrate all the wealth in the monarchy. Make sure the masses always beg to the monarchy to survive. Oh yeah? That's what I'm saying. I'm saying it to you, crew. My dogs out there. Yo. So you're tired of monarchy, but you can never get rid of me. Monarchy was once so strong. Now it's been ever so long since monarchy's been in power. Absolutely. Sure, we have these constitutional monarchies, but that's not enough to satiate me. The only thing that will make me glow with extra pride will be when the monarchy show is on every channel. MTV, videos of monarchy. VH1, videos of monarchy. Discovery Channel, Discovery Monarchy, Wild Kingdom, Monarchy Wild Kingdom, Learning Channel, Learning About Monarchy, and it will be propaganda, propaganda, all around the world today, all around, Monarchy Pays, Monarchy Pays, yo, yo, yo. I've been rhyming a lot about monarchy this fine day, and my voice hopefully is sore, but it won't ever go. Oh, great. Monarchy, monarchy, monarchy. Monarchy is a wonderful system. It is perfect government if you ever saw one. Everyone should love monarchy, and if you don't, you're a fool. I was chilling in the palace, saying, <laughs> the system is great. I got these royal gold all around. Oh yeah? I got a crown made of pure diamond. I got a bathroom made of porcelain. Five porcelain. I got a royal royce made of pure gold and silver. Oh yeah? So you thought your caddy was slick? But hey, hey, hey. I've got a Royals, Royce, and I've got 55 Royals, Royce, because I am the Emperor. Long, long live the Kaiser, long live the Kaiser. Yo, 
In the history books, they paint the Kaiser in uncomplimentary terms. He had to abdicate the throne. So let's put him back on the throne. Wilhelm II on the throne. Wilhelm II shall be seated on the throne because that's where he deserves. Oh, yeah. He deserves a special spot. A spot that's very hot. A hot spot because he is... Monarchy is hot. It sounds like hot cakes. Monarchy. Monarchy is the system for me. Today, 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 today. Today is a monarchy day. I declare that everyone shall honor monarchy in their own, own way. This is a monarchy world. This is a monarchy world. In the gutters, we shall have monarchy. You never have enough of such a fine system. You can never get sick of monarchy. You can never grow old of monarchy because monarchy is gold. And I said it with the truth of a conviction that monarchy is from my intuition. You can never tire of the monarch, the monarchs always do what's right. They never do anything wrong, and that's the point of this very song. I could have heard you diss a monarch. That was very sorry of your ass to do that. You're talking shit, and I don't like that. If I wasn't a pacifist, I'd lay the smack down on your ass, but I'm I am a pacifist, so you're damn lucky. A pacifist monarch, a pacifist queen, a pacifist king, a pacifist kaiser. No, no. You never know. Because the monarchs are so dynamic, it's their very nature. They are not a monolithic type. They have all their quirks and different personalities. The monarchs are so wonderful. They are vastly fascinating. They can intrigue for hours on end. A monarchy is a perfect system. A system without flaws. There are no flaws in monarchy. There is not a single thing wrong with monarchy. Monarch kings and queens have never done anything wrong. There's no excuse for dissing the crown. Sex Pistols did it a long time ago. They should regret their decision because the king and queen rule. They reign with royal, with royal greatness. They shall always be addressed, your royal highness. Everyone should honor the king and queen because it's an honor to be in their presence. The king and queen are better than the rest. They're better people, and that's no Jonan. I don't like all these jokes against the monarchy because the crown is royalty. The crown is fab. The crown is rad. The crown is great. I don't know why anyone shall hate the crown. I am in love with the crown. You say the crown is not... You're not down with the crown. That's too bad. You are very... very you are very, very sad. I don't know what your problem because monarchy is perfect. Back before World War One, Russia had a Tsar rule and this was so perfect for every party in Ball. Now, the story goes, it was a civil war between the whites and the reds and the Reds came out the victors. It was a shame. It was a dirty shame. Now, none of the rappers really like that because we would rather have it be the whites always winning. And then it was sad. It was a funeral procession every day because the Tsar were gone. Nicholas was eventually executed. It was too bad. It was marked the end of an era. 
It marked the end. Mark, he is having trouble getting established in all these countries. Western industrialized countries don't want monarchy. They have this thing, but they have to be democracies. What's up with that shit? We need more monarchy. More monarchy. More monarchy. You can never have enough of monarchy. Monarchy. And I would rather not say who condemns the monarchy the most. They shall remain anonymous because they're a fool. It's never right to criticize a crown. The crown's done so much for all of us. And we need a stronger monarchy party in the USA. Monarchy never comes back. We need a monarchy attack. We need to seize every ballot box and be voting monarchy in office. Then we want not this constitutional crap. We want absolute monarchy. A monarch with much power. Monarchs are interesting. Monarchs are cool. They're just like all of us in their coolness. They can go down the street and they're human as hell. They don't have a head trip because they're humble as fuck. Oh yeah, that's true. Ever see a monarch? Ever see the czar? The czar was mingling with the common people every single day. And they loved it. They dug it. They appreciated it. They learned. They had lots of fun. I hope my voice does not go because the monarchs, this monarch, pro-monarch person, voice will go. And that would not be very good because the voice of monarchy would be eliminated from this country. It's too bad. There's not another on this bandwagon. It's all gained steam. Why do we have every other political spectrum idea represented, but we never have monarchy? That's an imponderable force to ponder. I wonder that myself. America has never supported the monarchy tradition. It's a disgrace. It's a disservice. It's a shame. It's a sham. It is a sick statement on society. It's a sad commentary. Who do we like the best of them all? We like the monarch king. Who do we like the best of them all? We like the monarch queen. Who do we like the best of them all? We like the Kaiser. This is a rap to praise the Kaiser. The Kaiser is the greatest in the land. I think the Kaiser, I think everything he does, he was great. Now, too bad he had to advocate. Because the pressure was put upon him by the L.A. government, they did not like monarchy. They did not like what was going on in Germany at that time. He was trying his very hardest. He was a good old guy. He was pointed at in pictures, but I heard, I heard the word that it was not that way all the time. He would not, in his private chambers, wear that pointed hat to bed. He would not, because he said he did not do that all the time. Oh, yeah? It was too bad Germany lost World War I. And then, in World War I, monarchy went. Then it also died in Russia. It was too bad because it was really sad. The monarchs lost their position. No, I want you to think about this. If you were the monarch and you had to step down, you would not like that situation. You would not like it at all. You would say, this really sucks. Oh yes, you would, because this is what the monarchs said when it happened to them. So what's the answer? What's the plan? How are we going to get Kaiser back into the USA? We want Kaiser to replace the office of president. We don't want the Congress and the judicial branch. We're going to all put those into one. In the hands of the Kaiser, the United States. 
The United States needs a Kaiser. We need it so bad. We are going to get it now. Do do do. Tupac was the biggest monarch in the land, and that's a fact. You cannot deny that because that's a fact. It is true as true can be. And then there was a rapper named Queen Latifah, and she said, "I, I'm a monarch because I call myself Queen. I call myself Queen of Rap." And so it was declared all the across the land that rappers should all join the monarchy party, and they all did. Then there were Sir mix a lot one of rap's greatest. He said Snoop, Doggy Dog, and me are the greatest monarchy pals of the world, of the land, of superness, because we rock. Monarchy. Monarchy is fabulous, and the story ends like this. Monarchy now. Monarchy can't wait. Rap, rap, rap. So monarchy is great. <coughs> okay. All right. I hope you're all digging this. You know, this little pop, this little rap going on here. I hope you're saying, hey, this is cool. This rocks. Because it does, you know, does. Word to the G. Word to the crew. Word to the monarchy. Every one of them. If you're into monarchy, you're never a fool. You're never a fool. If you are into monarchy, you're never a fool. Monarchy is the way to be. Monarchy is great for me. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Oh yeah? And you cannot be denied. Not one single one of you can't go in the classrooms and make an argument against it. Because there are no arguments, then you have absolute power. You can't wait for the nation to slowly come to monarchy because it won't. America's or was it? They want this democracy, republic crap, but we can't allow that. Oh yeah? I said we can't allow that. When the monarchs become crowned and coronated in the ceremony, January 20th will not be inauguration day. It will be crown day. And then we'll say, in your face, Republicans, in your face, Democrats, in your face, Green Party, <clears throat> in your face, Socialist Party, in your face, Revolutionary Communist Party, in your face, United Fascist Front, which is actually a party, I think, if I got the name right. We will say, you know what we'll say? We will say monarchy is great. Get the monarchs in the White House. Monarchs in the White House. Monarchs in the White House. Yo, 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 we'll paint purple. No more. We're going to undermine American democracy because we want the perfect system to be monarchy. So it is. It is monarchy. Ever since I was me high, I said I'm going to fly. How am I going to fly? I am going to fly by being the biggest monarchy guy. I am going to eat a monarchy pie, and I am going to crown myself king. I am king the entire world. And that is true. I am so happy to be a monarchy person with full of glee across the land. Okay. <coughs> Ay, 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 the voice is getting sore a little bit. That's too bad. If other people were here, they could uh, kind of like, take the pressure off of me to, like, constantly talk to the tape. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, man. I do remember when I yelled so loud, so long during the Liberation Conference. A desperate, feeble attempt to attract people and only one person other than me came the entire day. It was sad. If we had a monarchy, that would not occur because people would come. So listen up. Listen up real good. Monarchy is the word. The word that you will tell everyone when you walk down the street. You'll say monarchy and they will know exactly what you mean. They will know exactly what you mean. 
You won't hesitate because monarchy is great. Monarchy is the USA's fate. We gotta bring it up in the halls of Congress, pass a law that declares us not a republic but a monarchy. Let's do it now. We can't wait. We can't hesitate. Because monarchy, when it grows, it will be great. It will be fab. It will be rad. It will be grooving. Monarchy is the greatest system that we ever had, so you best be listening. You best not be talking smack, because monarchy is far better than crack. Monarchy always lasts. Crack doesn't last. When there's a monarchy, there will be good things for all across the land. Across the land. Up with monarchy, down with a man. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay. We crown the king today. Yo, yo, yo. Did you hear that last word? We crown the king. The king is good. And that's the word. The king is the greatest thing that's ever happened to this country. Hardcore gangsta monarchy rap. Hardcore gangsta monarchy rap. Cruising in the hood with the monarchy. We're saying we're putting our flags all over the beat. Every rapper. Snoop Doggy Dog. Dr. Dre. And Eminem are all big forms of rap. Of Oh, rap. That's supporting monarchy. Did you know? I'm going to keep on rapping until everyone's tapping. A little rhyme to exalt the monarchy. A little rhyme, because we need kings and queens. A little rhyme. Gangsta monarchy. Gangsta monarchy. Against the monarchy. I am the baddest man of monarch around. You can never have enough monarchy. Monarchy means freedom, and that's all that can be said because we don't like the red. The red means oppression. The monarchy means freedom. The white should have won the civil war in Russia in the 1917s. Here's a trivia question for you all. From 1888 to 1918, who ruled the German Empire? I'll give you a second to ponder it over, and then I'd best be hearing an answer. Yes, it was Kaiser Wilhelm II, and that was great, 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 great. Now you say, no more monarchy. But you're a fool because your propaganda is in your ears. Propaganda is in your beers. When there's monarchy, there will be no beer because everyone will be smart enough to avoid the crap. Oh, yes? What are you talking? You're talking shit. You're saying monarchy isn't a hit. But I'm about to prove you wrong like this like you smoke a big fat bomb. That's why you are talking shit. You're fucked up and it's sad. Monarchy is really rad. That's the truth of the matter. Quit you eating your uncooked batter. And I know you're getting fatter when you eat your uncooked batter. Monarchy Monarchy! Hear you, crown the king now! That's music to my ears. The king's trumpet blares so loud. I love the songs, I love those songs. Oh my, it makes me cry with tears of jubilant joy. The jubilee of celebration. We shall shun democracy and Republicanism and anarchy and communism and fascism. Everything that's not absolute monarchy. We need to establish monarchies in every possible country. We cannot wait an hour too long because we 
don't want it to be gone. We don't want a system that we currently have because as for the birth. Okay, every four years we elect a president. Big whoop de doo And then we have a Congress that sits there and talks about nonsense. Now, we could consolidate all the power into one one office, and that would be the office of the monarch sitting 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Then they would say, they would say that it is great to be American because monarchy is the way to be. Now it's not very good to be American because we're in a democracy. We don't like democracy. The shame is a sham. It sucks. It's real bad. It clogs things up. It's gridlock, laden. It's a disease. It doesn't please. It makes me want to sneeze and not say God bless. I could digress, but I want to get the monarchy established in the United States of America. <sighs> You can't say the monarchy's wrong or else you wouldn't be listening to this song. And this song will continue to go wrong until our nation is monarchy strong. Until everyone is not smoking a bong and they are and they are monarchy strong. Yeah. What I'm saying to you, have a problem with it? We better check yourself. Monarchy's best. Monarchy's best. Are you con you're confused. You are screwed up because you're saying you support the way things are. You support the status quo. And that's too bad. You're missing out. Boy. Girl. You forgot the lesson of monarchy. The monarchs always are doing things right. You always get this false propaganda that monarchs are oppressive. No monarch has ever been oppressive. For all the history of monarchy, it is true that no monarchy has ever been oppressive. Democracy, on the other hand, is oppressive as can be. And that's when they charge you a fee to be oppressive as can be. Monarchy pleases me when I see everyone, even former Democrats, former Democrats, joining the crusade to establish monarchy in the White House. And it's true, monarchy is great. I don't care if you're six, I don't care if you're eight. We all agree. Better we eyes see than a simple absolute monarchy. We need the pomp. We need the circuses, the parades, the taxes, the plays. Remember Mr. Rogers? There was a king. Yeah. What does that tell you? Monarchy's pervasive. It's fading, it's fading, it's fading, it's sad. There's romance of the crown. And I'm really glad that at least one of us here today is willing to say great words about Mark. Now you think, you probably drink when you're dissing monarchy. But it's too bad because you best be recognizing the supreme form of government. Who the hell? Do you think you are saying that monarchy sucks? Well, it doesn't suck. It rules. Monarchy is fabulous. It is grand and it is great and wonderful. Monarchy is yes. tremendous. Monarchy is red, red, red. Monarchy is groovy. Beat Nick's swearing down with monarchy. They're smoking too much shit. 
and that's too bad because they missed out on the joys of monarchy. Question remains, why is it that we have neo-Nazis, the most extreme ideology out there per half? But we don't have lesser extremes like neo-monarchists in America. We just don't see it. And if you did, MTV would have a special on that. But MTV is capitalist. They're not in the monarchy thing. But I suppose you can have a monarchy that's capitalist. It's just that you have a crown at the center of the government thing. It ain't nothing but a monarchy thing. It ain't nothing but a monarchy thing. You wouldn't understand. Because you're not a monarchist. The monarchist is on top of my list because they are so wise. Monarchs are so wise. They're perfectly wise. Listen to the story. Listen to it well. We got a lot of things I could really tell. Now I was saying the monarchs are cool, the groovy ass. The, the baddest motherfuckers you wouldn't want to mess with. Too bad the Reds beat the Whites in the Russian Civil War. Because if it didn't happen, monarchy sure would have last. Those idealized, idealistic communists thought they were doing what was good, and they wanted to do a new republic. And it really fucked up, I must say that. Only lasted 70 years. Bring back the Tsar. Bring back the Tsar. England still has a royal system in check, but it's not absolute. They don't have a power, they're just a figurehead. They just are a rubber stamp of the regular stuff. Well, that's too bad because we need absolute monarchy to be the dominant ideology today. Once upon a time, it was popular, but now it's fading fast. Never was the thing to be in America, but that shall change because we Marcus are determined to get everyone into our crusade. We must, we must continue. We must try until everyone is a monarchist. Monarchists are so fat, they are rad, they are great, they are super duper swell. Hey, Beaver, they are swell. Did you know that Donna Reed was the biggest pro monarchist that ever could be? Did you know that the Brady Bunch was really a subversive monarchist organization? Did you know that Bewitched was into the monarchy? Did you know that Steve Urkel was a monarchist at heart? Did you know that Full House was a house of monarchy? And did you know that The Simpsons was produced by one of the biggest monarchists ever, Matt Graney? And did you know that Survivor, the producers of that are monarchists. And did you know that Seinfeld was a biggest monarchist in history? And did you know that Friends were monarchists? And did you know that Mary Tyler Moore was a greatest monarchist theorist ever in the history of the world? And did you know? And did you know? And did you know? Did you know that Saved by the Bell was just a clever propaganda tool of the monarchist party? No, you did not know that. So you learned something from this rap, and the, all your parents are saying rap is crap. That's not true. Rap is good for your brain. You can learn all these things about monarchists. And did you know that Beverly Hills 90210 is really just monarchist propaganda? No, you did not. 
And did you know that Melrose Place is just about establishing a monarchy? That's the only plot of it. And did you know? And did you know that down by the shore, the show that lasted not too long on Fox because it wasn't popular, was really a monarchist staple. Monarchs won it because of its themes. And did you know that Dan Rather is a monarchist? He declared it on national television. He once was restrained. He said, yo, 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 I'm a monarchist. I bet you didn't know that. That he was. And did you know Bob Barker, the fan of spade and neutering the pet population, was a big monarchist. That's why he always supported monarchy. He had monarchist flags in his pants. He had a monarchist grin on his face. 